for Vincent Irizarry. Uh, my first question is to you is, what did you love the most about playing Deimos? Wow, wow, there was a lot that I loved about playing Deimos. I, I loved the development of the character from when I first came on. I, I, I love when you get a great backstory to a character and it all made sense, you know. I understood the reasons why he came into town with a major chip on his shoulder. I understood why he wanted to seek vengeance to get his, his, his older brother. Um, and I also understood, though, that in the transition for a period of time there, that he genuinely was longing for family, for acceptance, uh, being the bastard son that he was. Um, and I, I just love that. And I love also that he had also had a longing to experience true love um, in a relationship um, after being in prison for 30 years and losing the love of his life, the one woman that he ever loved before, Helena. So I loved it. It was just, it was so, it was so rich. It was so much fun to, to dive into that. And, and I loved also the element of bringing in the piano and, and that he was a, a, played classical piano, romantic piano music. And, because that showed another layer to the character, you know, that he had a romantic side to his, his nature um, at his heart, that he had the tendency that he could do some evil things and, you know, but at the same time there was something that was genuine and very loving and very, uh, uh, you know, a, a human side to him that I thought was very special. How surprised were you when you found out, them, got the coming back to do the flashbacks and Deimos had married Eve, was that a big surprise when Days approached you for that? Uh, yeah, it was a big <laughs> surprise. It was a very big surprise. Um, yeah, I mean, I was trying to understand it in the context of what was happening in that period when they said it happened. It was a little confusing. It was a little, uh, I wasn't sure how it fit, but considering that there was a distance between the time that I had left the show and that when they brought that in, it, it's fine. I mean, most people wouldn't realize that. I just knew that because I was studying the character for so long. Right. It was a thrill for me because I like David Hayward. I love Blair and One Life to Live. See you guys as Eve and Deimos together. Yeah, well, that's, and a a scene that's a different thing. I mean, I, yeah. I, you know, it's funny because I've known Cassie, Cassie for, honestly, for like 25 years. Yeah. Um, and we have been missing each other on every show practically. I, I left Guiding Light and she came on Guiding Light way back when. Um, even when we were working online doing the All My Children and One Life to Live reboot, she was coming in. I, I'd be there for like my week stint. Then she would come in and she would have my dressing room during that period. And when I first got hired on days, I was like, oh, this is great because Cassie's on there. I'll get to work with her. I go to work. It's my first day on the show as Deimos. And I'm like, Cassie's so great. I'm going to get to work. And she goes, no, this is my last day. I'm going, get the, are you serious? She said, yeah, I'm leaving. So, and it was sad because then the story had, they'd actually been, they had written um, for the two of us to get together before I left the show. I don't know if you remember that she came on the show for a period of time. And Ken Corday, he came up to me um, during the Emmys the year before at the party. And he said, I just want you to know it's between us. I can say this now because the years have passed now. So it's between us, but, but Cassie's coming back on the show, and we're going to put the two of you together. I said, wow, that's fantastic. I was real excited about it. And she came on for a, a couple of weeks, and, um, and then she got sick, right. as we all know. And I'm, it was really, I was very saddened by that. I, it was weird because we had, I had gotten a script. We had some really good scenes together. And then about two days before we came to shoot the scenes, I got rewrites, and she was written out of the scenes. And they were now scenes with me and Eric Martzoff. And we're like talking about what happened in those scenes, but we not we were doing it. It was all camera, and I went up to um, Albert Olar, the executive, one of the, the executive producer at the time. They are one of them, and said, "What's going on? Why isn't Cassie in these scenes?" And he said, "Look, I, I'm not going to make an announcement about this right now, but but Cassie let us know that she's very sick." And I was just my heart was like, "Oh my God!" And um, so I'm just so happy she's doing well. I'm really happy for her. She looks fantastic and. She's so incredibly talented, and it was fun just to work even just for a few scenes with her recently. It was cool. If you could play any other character on Days besides Deimos, who would you want to play? Male or female? Oh, wow. Dead or alive? Yeah. Um, 
I don't know, Maggie maybe, because she's such a saint. Everybody loves her. <laughs> the opposite of Deimos. <laughs> the opposite, I know. That's what I'm going for. I'm going for something totally different. It was like, it was funny. When I first came on the show and then when Maggie fell, when I, she, she, so I gave her the pills, I mixed her pills, and she fell down the stairs, which was, you know, it was an unintentional consequence. Nobody, that wasn't planned. But she fell down the stairs and she became paralyzed. All of a sudden it was like, everybody was like, oh, I hate him. Oh, I can't believe what he did to Maggie. It was like, I didn't mean to do it. It wasn't, that wasn't supposed to happen. But anyway, I, I love her too. I love her. She's Suzanne is fantastic. What do you have doing? any uh, projects right now that you're working on? Your liberty to tell us about? Um, well, I, obviously, you know, I'm doing real estate. I do that. With, um, but apart from that, I have two projects. Um, one is a um, a project that I helped develop. It was an original manuscript. Um, has since been um, published as an ebook, um, but it's based on a true story, a uh, murder that took place in Texas. And I, with several people, um, we uh, helped, we got a screenwriter and developed a screenplay together and trying to get that off the ground as a producer. I have another project that I was um, asked to do. Um, it's a co-lead in a film, independent feature, and they're just trying to raise the funding right now, the financing for it. So that's what's happening right now. So, yeah. Do you have any message for your fans from Guiding Light, All My Children, Days of Our Lives, Young and the Restless? Wow, this has been quite an odyssey, and I'm very grateful to all of you. Um, I, you know, I, it's interesting. I started out on Guiding Light. Uh, it was a three-day role as Lou Jack, um, and here I am 30-plus years later, and I'm still in and out of this medium, um, watching this medium shrink like a really sad like game of musical chairs. It's like one, one more chair gets removed, every, and everything gets shrunken down. But it was, it's been just a joy. It really has been a joy. And I'm so grateful to everybody that's been watching all these years on all the shows that I've done. And I look forward to doing more. It'll be fun.